Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John, this is Many a True Nerd, and welcome to Overfall. This is a very, very early stage game. This is a game, this is... Uh, this is a pre-alpha tech demo sort of thing. In fact, as you'll see, as they've kind of uh, clearly labelled in their game, uh, this is actually still on Kickstarter. Um, this is just kind of the tech demo. The devs reached out to me directly about this one uh, because they'd seen I'd kind of, you know, done some roguelikes in the past. This is apparently an RPG-ish roguelike thing. Normally, I don't kind of do things quite this early, but um, as, as you can hopefully kind of hear in the background there, I was sort of interested because the music was really lovely. And there's kind of there's a lot of kind of cute graphics and generally for something that's pre-alpha still in Kickstartery tech demo phase, there's a lot of kind of polish here. So I have got two heroes. Do I? Do I have a a fighter? Do I have okay? Oh, so I've got one fighter and I'm assuming you're a cleric, aren't you? So you can't have two of the same thing on one team, so I've only have one fighter and one cleric. Okay. And they've all got stats, attack, defense, health, critical chance, speed, and initiative. And obviously the... Interesting, the cleric has the same attack as the warrior. You, you go. You go, girl. You stand up for yourself there. Uh, slightly, she's also got slightly better defense. Side of defense, similar health. Uh, critical chance is a bit lower. It's mainly initiative that's lower. That's interesting. Okay, so we've got... We, we can't select any of this. Okay, so you will be able to unlock all of this. So you start off, you basically pick two people to start off with. And when you've unlocked more people, you can unlock guardians and druids and rogues and rangers and wizards and warlords and so forth. Wizard and a warlord. I would have felt like those two were broadly similar. There must be some arguments at the magic college as the definitions here. But I'm guessing at the moment I cannot choose anything other than the, uh, the starting skills. All right, let's crack on then. Enter the portal, thinks the warrior. Yes, we should indeed. And just take a moment to enjoy this music that to me sounds kind of like Skyrim crossed with Firefly somehow, which I do quite like as an idea. So, we've gone for a mysterious portal into a new area and a sea of mysteries waiting to be unraveled stretches out before us. And we've got, we've got stuff. We've got 20 fragments, I don't know what that is. Four dust, whatever that is. Two runes, whatever that is, and eight food. Good stuff! Right, let's head on our way with all our things then. It's cute, the art style, by the way. I do quite enjoy it. So, what have we got here? We've got an island, and we can... Ooh, we can just move around. We just move around on our island. That's nice. Oh, so... Everything just keeps moving by itself. But if you move, everything kind of moves faster as well. So it's almost like, basically, you're all kind of speeding up time in some ways. And you can tell where to go. Just go up to an island... And you'll go up to it. So you stop by a local inn for some drinks and some gossip. So I can either leave straight away or look for work. Okay. And I've heard of someone who's in need of your aid. Okay, go seek them out. Alright, how do I do that then? I have a ooh, little gold, little gold arrow pointing me towards Akaton Island. Well, that's fine. Ooh. What's this? So what's this boat? Forsaken ship just charting this area. A dwarf ship charting this area. A hollow ship charting it. I'm not in the sound of any of these guys. I thought I could just head on our flipping way. Uh, so we're heading towards Akaton. Let's just pop into an island on the way as we've got an island en route. Has anyone directed you to the island where all the awesome stuff is going on? Go check it out. Okay, I'm guessing in the final game there will be stuff on all the islands. But for now I'm supposed to basically be uh, following the uh, following the little things. Ooh, but pirates. No pirates. Come back. Pirates. Pirates. Hello. So pirate crews are very common in this sunken water covered world. We've got three pirates and only two of me. Probably shouldn't pick a fight with these guys. Ask to trade. Ask to go treasure hunting. I can't attack the pirates. My options for the pirates are, do you want to go treasure hunting together? Or would you like to trade? Would you like to trade? We'd be out of goods. Well, would you like to go treasure hunting together? It might be fun. And nay, we not be telling our secrets to you. Not yet, matey. All right, fine. We'll leave you be then. Pirates apparently have no interest in attacking me. Let's go to this island. So thank the gods you've come. My pigs have gone missing. Strange creatures are stealing them. Please help us. Okay. Humble farmer is asking me for help. I'm going to go and put on my angry face. This cannot go uninvestigated. Go and uncover the fate of the pigs. I'm kind of curious as to what these two heroes, when they step through the portal into the water-covered world, that reminds me a little bit of... Uh, 
Wind Waker, just because, you know, it's little islands uh, across an endless sea and lots of people have boats and go around. It kind of reminds, it makes me think of like an RPG isometric roguelike Wind Waker, which is quite cool. I'm not sure what we were originally kind of coming through here for, but I feel like the Mighty Warrior and his, you know, healer sidekick did not come this way to help look for a farmer's pigs. But isn't this always the way with heroes in Wind Waker? You always have to start off by hunting out some pigs. I wonder if that's an intentional reference. I'd like to think it was. Let's go find the pigs. So, are those the pigs? A short way off the farmer's household, you're confronted by a pair of giant man-sized pigs. Are these the pigs I'm supposed to be getting, or are these different pigs? Okay, they glare at you with malice in their eyes. Their eyes are certainly glowing a bit red, that is true. Let's attack the pigs. Before you leap into the fray, you're interrupted by the appearance of a pale woman. Are you an elf or something? Screw you pigs, she yelled. If she is an elf, they are not quite as elegant and sophisticated as we have been led to believe. Let's fry their bacon. Indeed, let us do so. So I'm guessing my warrior can charge forward. So what can I do? Okay, so a battle has phases. So I can move my character or do a heroic leap. And ooh, I can do a... Oh, I can do a massive leap. That's cool. But for now, I can only just run forward. So I'm going to run forward. Then I can do an... A miscellaneous... Okay, so that's the presumably the movie phase. This is the miscellaneous phase where I can either intimidate, which applies fear and dazed, okay, and has a cooldown, or I can hold a defensive stance and become unstoppable, apply stability and two stacks of Aegis, fine, or cooldown one range self, or I can do rampage, fills your veins with empowering anger, applies might, fury, and two stacks of precision. Well, I feel like I'm going to be attacking next turn, so let's do a rampage on myself. Yes, there we are. I feel quite angry. And I can do chop, which is a melee. So, uh, yeah, causes bleeding. Cleave. Okay, if they're already bleeding, then it does double damage. So, obviously, you want to do a chop, then a cleave. And execute, which is bonus damage if HP is the enemy's uh, HP is below 50%. Okay, fine. Well, I can't do any of that, so I'm going to have to skip the attack phase for now. She's running ahead of me, which is stupid. And has done a... Presumably that's confusion. Okay, and oh, she's run ahead and she's taking a lot of damage. This isn't good at all. Uh, can I pull her? Wait, what can I do? Hang on. Faithful pull. Pull an ally towards yourself to protect. Cool down to range four. Can I do that? No, because there's no... no. I think I'm out of range of her. All right, fine. Oh, wait, no, I think I can see who it is. She's a rift stalker. All right, the rift stalkers are interested in the pigs as well. Let's just move my cleric forward to do some healing next time. Dispel, scream, numbing light. Oh, can I get her? Yes, I can. Here, have some health back. There you go. I hope you feel better. Uh, wave of light sends a wave of punishing light in front of you. Uh, ooh, I could... Oh, no, that would hit her. Uh, retribution calls down a devastating hammer. Can I hit? Can I hit? Yes, I can. All right. Let's call down a devastating hammer onto a pig. Beautiful. And, ah, my hero's ready to go. I think if I go here... Yes, if I go here, I'll be able to get a first attack in. I'm ready to do my super attackiness. I'm going to intimidate you, I think. Yes, you're the full health one, so I'm going to intimidate you. And then I'm going to chop and hopefully cause some bleed damage. And he is indeed bleeding. Yes, that's beautiful. Oh, he's got a lot of health. Did that feel like, felt like it didn't do much. Uh, is he about to attack me back? Oh no, he's, I think he's buffing himself up there. Okay, I'm the one that's under attack now. Okay, if I position myself up here, I might be able to do my big blasty thing. So, uh, I'm going to... Do I want to scream? No, I don't want to do any of that. I'm going to skip this phase, and now I'm going to do a wave of light, which is going to... Oh, flip. Wait, hang on, how does it work? Oh, it does... Oh, does that is that going to hit my character too? Uh, I think it will. I think I'm going to do Holy No... No, not going to do Holy Nova. I can't go back, sadly. Uh, wave of Light, Wave of Light. Oh, well, never mind. I will just do a Holy Nova. Create a Holy Explosion to hurt your foes. Oh, and aid your allies. Oh, this is the perfect thing then. Yes. So that, yes, that hurt her and uh, didn't damage him. That's fine. So this guy can... Do a heroic leap. Uh, sure, why not? Let's do a heroic leap and damage both of them for free. And then we can do a, another 
rampage, I would say. Yeah, let's just get ready to do another rampage. Yep. And then we could cleave into the guy who's bleeding. It feels a bit unnecessary, but let's just make sure. Oh, that's a two. That hits both of them. Ah, that's... Did that hit her too? Bloody hell, that's a big cleave. He's got a lot of debuffs on him, but I honestly don't know what all of the debuffs do. Right, I'm going to take her right over here in the hope I can actually do something useful with her this time. So, uh, can I scream? No, I'm not going to scream. I'm going to just see if I can use a numbing light on him. You get some health back. Now, can I wave of light? Come on, I've got to be... Oh, bloody hell. Uh, fine, we're waving of light. I'm sorry, hero. Did that also hit? Yes, it did hit him too. Ouch. Uh, never mind. And he's also got an ability, but that's okay. Uh, don't need to move the character. Skip. Go into uh, some... Let's go into defensive, as I am a little bit worried about my own health. Defense and execute because he's under half health. Boom. Lots of damage. Now, what the heck is going on? Ah, this seems like the perfect place for her to sit in. Because now, if I skip this turn and go into... Oh, I can't Holy Nova anymore. Um, let's do a Devastating Hammer blow then. Devastating Hammer. Excellent. So the hero the hero completely failed and the uh, the paladin actually did all the work there. Right, search the bottles. They must have the orb somewhere. Have the what? Says our hero, who apparently has no idea what the hell's going on. And the Rift Stalker has done the search and found the Orb of War. And what's that for? I'm guessing it's something to do with war. Rift Stalker promises all will be revealed soon. Follow the Rift Stalker to the village. In this village, you are met by a group of experienced adventurers. They introduce themselves as the Order of Pera. Welcome heroes, we're the Order of Pera. We go on adventure in search of holy artifacts. Okay, well, what about the artifact of war we just got? And also, what happened to the pigs I was supposed to be rescuing? Did we just not bother with that poor farmer? We've, we've got short attention spans, these heroes. They shrug, we shall explain later. You've acquired the orb of war. Would you be willing to help us further? That depends how sure we've got nothing better to do. It's not a good opening negotiating position to start with. Well, I don't know. We are pretty busy. Would you be able to offer us any form of payment for our services? Any good gear, for example? They seem pleased. Your task is to retrieve the Jewel of Tales, last seen in the distant islands of Balamori. Okay, let's set sail for Balamori then. Do we get to take What's Her Face with us now? Is she now on our side? And where's Balamori itself? Let's go over towards Balamori. Avoid that someone just exploded. Excellent. Uh, there's a house over here. I'm going to see if these guys are going to do anything. Is this maybe going to be a tavern I can trade? Stop by the local inn for some drinks. Look for work. You already have an important task, go finish your mission. I'm guessing that lots of the side quest stuff is not going to do much at the time, for the moment at least. Here we are, Balamori, I'm guessing. So upon making landfall, you're greeted by the chill of supernatural silence. You know not how you know, but death and damnation shroud this island. Let's go for the village. Town of Balamori nears, a creeping sense of doom chills your flesh down to the bone, and your arrival confirms your premonition. The village is a smouldering ruin, a litany of lives cut short. Ooh, good use of the word litany. There's a word that's not used enough. So, search the wreckage of this once thriving hamlet for survivors. I wonder which thing we should investigate first. I wonder if it's this thing. So, oh dear, we've got some undead foraging for sustenance. Tasting the scent of living fresh, they turn and howl a blood curdling hunting cry, which apparently sounds something like scream but possibly more fearsome than that. All right, defend yourself, let's go. So, I'm guessing we can get our barbarian right into the task in a minute. Let's get ready to go on a rampage, beautiful. Yes, rampaging away, and we can skip his attack phase. Oh, we've got a mage of some description coming in. Their warrior goes in, but can't really do much to me, I don't think, I think we're pretty tough. Oh, do we not control her still? Is she still flipping, uh... oh no, she's, why is she that? Chilled. Carves the critical rate. Tormented. Deals one damage for each hex the unit moves, stacking by intensity. Blind. It decreases accuracy. Oh, I've been blinded and hexed. Debuff stack in this game pretty damn fast. Um, so I can stalk, target to the uh, target location, and pull foes on diagonal hexes towards yourself. Or I could just walk over there. I could just walk over to him. You don't have to... Just because you're a flipping rift stalk, you don't have to use the rift for bloody everything. Goodness sake. Um, imprison your foe's mind. Confusion and blind. Okay. 
Refraction, create a protective shield on yourself, okay. Or siphon speed, uh, steals your foe's movement speed, applies crippled to foe, haste to self. That seems like a good thing. Let's cripple him and make myself fast, okay. And can we actually attack him with anything? So side blades uh, for three damage and chilled, which again slows him down, I'm guessing. Stab your foe for, uh, from the forward distance. Oh, so massive range strike, phantom strike. Or Shadow Assault, teleport to target location, create a magical explosion which hurts adjacent foes. So if everything's gathered together, that's quite useful. Okay, I may as well just attack him and get to uh, chill him a bit. Just do a bit of damage to him, that's fine. Uh, you, I think maybe me and you can go kind of... Actually, you know what, we should all stick together. Let's just stick together, stick together everyone. Heal, heal our hero up. Beautiful. And then drop the hammer on this guy. There we go. He's looking pretty weak already. And he's made the world go a bit blurry and black. Oh, hang on. Is this because my character's blind? Oh, that's so lovely. I love it. If my character's flipping blind, that's awesome if that's what's actually happening. Oh, that's amazing. That's the coolest thing. Um, So my character's what? My character's tormented. My character's blind. Uh, can't attack non-adjacent units. Uh, and increases evasion by two for two turns. Okay, so right now I'm a bit stuck actually. I can't do my big jumpy attack, uh, which is unfortunate. Says I am blind, which makes sense. Uh, I can do a intimidate. I'm going to intimidate you. Yeah, fear the blind man. The blind man's going to kill you. And I could cleave you, but I'd be better off just causing you to bleed. Yes. Chop. Let's do a chop. And it missed because I'm blind. Makes sense. Or if you just put on me poison. One damage each turn for three turns, stacking by intensity. Oh dear. Oh well. We're going to have to finish I think we should finish her off as soon as possible. Now what does she have in terms of her uh, shadow assault? Oh, so she's got a big explosion, which is good because that means I can hit both of those guys. That's fine. So, uh, stalk. Pulls enemies with three hexes. Uh, oh, so you can pull enemies together and then do AoE on them. Oh, that's quite cool. But I feel like I'm already in a pretty good position. I may as well just, you know, walk to about here. I can also use Refraction to get rid of some of my uh, debuffs and pick up some nice things of my own. And then do Shadow Assault, which I feel like this is a fine situation for a Shadow Assault. There we go. Damage to everyone. Lovely. Okay, Cleric's turn. Cleric needs to, as a priority... Uh, doesn't really need to bother doing anything. Uh, prize protection. Let's just heal you up a bit. Lovely. Uh, cleric can also do the dispel. Let's get your debuffs off you. Let's make sure you're as you should be. Lovely. And then, oh, if I don't, oh, if I'd have moved, I've been able to have uh, gone to a better position. Never mind. Uh, let's do. Can we do a holy nova? No, I don't need to do a holy nova. Right, skip her phase. All right, hero needs to go over here. Because Hero can do a nice, can get ready for a rampage. And can also, more importantly, do an execute on this guy. This should hopefully, oh, not quite finish him off, but pretty damn close. And what have you just done to my person? Agony, one damage each turn for three. Now, how does this work exactly? Again, I think she's all, okay, Riftwalker's already in a pretty good place. Uh, siphon speed, let's start siphoning you just to make sure that uh, you're going to be weak because you're the one who's going to survive a bit longer. And we can do... Just do a quick side blade to you to finish you off. That didn't finish you off. How did that not finish you off? You utter numpty. Right, okay. You go here. You need to heal her up in a hurry. I don't want her dying. Then we need to do a quick... Are you a Holy Nova? Uh, that's got a big cooldown on it. Maybe I'll just do a wave of light. Oh, well, that will hit her too. I don't want to hit her too. Retribution. Just drop drop the hammer on. Let's just finish this guy off. Finish this person off. I know this is a bit powerful finishing off, but screw it. Let's do it. Jumping attack for an extra free bit of damage. Lovely. Apply some fear and dread to you. And then do a chop to hopefully put some bleed damage on you. No, there's no bleed damage there. That's unfortunate. Will you stop putting hexes on me? I'm going to come and get you in a minute. 
Right, I'm just gonna go send her over here and start her dealing with this. She can deal with- she can start bloody dealing with this. Let's apply some confusion and blind to you. Oi. That teaches you. And... Wait, hang on. That was apparently the end of her turn, for some reason. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, the hero's got this, so I'm going to send her over here to help out with the Rift Stalker. I can't actually heal yet. It's still on cooldown. Uh, I can Dispel, so I can get rid of her. I think that's Confusion. Yep, fine. And then I can do a Wave of Light, Wave of Light, Wave of... Wave of... Wave of... Wave... No! <laughs> Don't think I can. Uh, Holy Nova it is. That's at least a healing ability. There we go. Everyone gets healed up. And that undead's going, leaving my hero behind. Well, you can't do that, because my hero will be able to catch up pretty soon. But, alright, fine, whatever. Let's get some Rampage ready to go. Give myself some buffs. And I'm just going to skip the attack phase, because I can't do anything else. I'm just going to go defensive with the, uh, with the Riftwalker. I feel like I'm in a bit of trouble with her. And we can start doing a deals for... Yeah, applies bleeding. Yeah, we should apply bleeding whenever we can. Because that will mean that our normal hero can do a lot more stuff. You need to just focus overwhelmingly on... No, you can't do that. Fine. You just need to focus overwhelmingly on healing this person up. Heal. And then drop the hammer. Boom. Lovely. These enemies certainly can put, put a fair bit of damage on you, can't they? Bloody hell. Uh, right, that's still not ready to go. You. Intimidate. And a big chop. Still no flipping bleeding damage, mind. That's annoying. Let's stalk into this position, because I don't know what that means. Oh, it just means go into the middle. Alright, fine. Uh, let's just apply some extra damage. You're, I think, going to go down to a big uh, double attack because you're bleeding next time. Uh, meanwhile, I can do... Can I do a big range attack? No, I don't have a range attack. Oh, do I? Yes, I do. I have a range attack. Here it is. Range attack. Beautiful. I think someone avoided it, though. Lovely. Right. You can stay exactly where you are. You can do a screen, though. Just get some extra debuffs on you. And a wave of light. Oh, wave of... Why is Wave of Light never what I want it to do? Uh, wave of Light never does hit what I want it to. Uh, that would hit. I don't want to risk hitting her. Sorry. We're going to have to skip the attack phase. That guy's blind. Now, this is what I want. Heroic Leap to damage you. Then a nice ramp. Get ready for some Rampage for some bonus damage. And then a... I didn't get an attack. Why didn't I get an attack? Precision. I don't know. I think one of my heroes just died. Oh well. Are you actually dead? Yes, I think you're actually dead. It's, I don't know whether this plays by actual roguelike rules, but if it does, one of my heroes just died. Oh well. Right. Why did you just do that? Right. I may as well heal myself, giving him a bit of trouble otherwise. And then just do a Holy Nova for more healing. Yes. Boom. Right. This time... Definitely finish off these people. Defense. And cleave. Boom. And lo lo there's just loads of damage and bonus happening in there all the time. It's kind of weird. Um, can I do that for some extra healing? Yes, I can. And dispel. Sure, I don't think you've got anything on you that you need to dispel, but you can do. And retribution. Drop a hammer on him. I think it's one of the most powerful skills I've got rather weirdly. Oh, the, the dramatic hero music has started to play, which I always liked as a thing. It was a thing that happened in the skies of Arcadia 2, and a battle was going well. A really happy music started playing. Uh, but it's kind of odd in this case, I feel like. Uh, right, down to here. What can I do? I can do Retribution again. That's odd, but all right, I'll go. I'll have it. Just continue dropping a hammer on them. Why not? Now, nice heroic leap. Get myself ready with a bit of a rampage. And now you've got very little health yet, so time to execute you. 12 damage. The undead crumble into oblivion. Looking around you, you wonder what caused the carnage in this village. What's the story of Balamori? Let's investigate further, now that the Rift Summoner has apparently completely died. No one in Balamori has been spared the wrath of the undead, but you're held by two passing strangers. They introduced themselves as a plague doctor and a hellion. Alright then. 
It is well that your tenuous sanity has endured this nightmarish assault, and inquire as to their knowledge of the town's terrible fate. And inconveniently, they don't bloody know either, though would you like to come with me by any chance? We have our own demons to extinguish in the darkest dungeon. Good luck on your quest, futile though it may be. And there's no word of advice you can spare for us. Ooh, an ancient temple of Stygian design. The diabolical evil within may be responsible for the onslaught. Ooh, I'm, I'm not sure I was actually ever brought on board to stop the undead rising. I was just kind of here to get a jewel, to be honest. Now, thank them for the advice. And the plague doctor and the Hillian bid you farewell. Continue to the temple, apparently. We're just going to go straight to the temple. That's right. Oh, it's a lovely, lovely light temple. I was expecting something a bit more dark and undead, but uh, never mind. Crawling vines cling to the corners of this altar of evil. Altar of evil? Okay, fine. It's got a bit of a weird, creepy face, but I, I'm not getting a real evil vibe from the vines and the wide open spaces and the bright sunny day and the lots of greenery. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm not getting that feeling at all. So, spirit. Call upon the ancestral spirits. They might gift some small revelation. Demon spawn on the edge of reality. Cackle anarchic incantations, but your mind is undeceived. Your soul unswayed. You do not yield. The veil of the ancient is pulled back. Okay. So, receive the revelation of the ancestors. Let's, just, let's, not, let's not faff about. Image of a lone child, bathed in blood. Wreathed in regret. A stench of loathsome purpose hangs about him. He is surrounded by gravestones that rise like crooked fangs from the cold earth. Alright. Head to the graveyard and bring an end to this plague of the undeath. Let's do that then. What the heck? Standing here is a child who is not a child. The cold intelligence that gleams in his eyes is not his own. Well, that's a bit harsh. You're going to feel pretty bloody rubbish if you murder this child and then it turns out that the child was just actually a slightly above average intelligent child. Then you're going to feel really bad about the murder. But uh, greet this otherworldly fiend. Cosmic rage burns in the child's eyes. Spare me your pleasantries. I am beyond such mortal concerns. Okay, possibly there may be something a bit weird about this child. Beseech the child to pledge an end to its necromantic symphony. This game script may be a little bit OTT, but I do actually quite enjoy it. It's ridiculous. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. This is not a good thing. This isn't a good thing. I've only got two people. I've only got two people. I really hope they've healed up, too. Defend yourself from this final medicine. You are... The child's lips, a cruel smile, undead monstrosities sprout from the restless earth. Oh dear. Hopefully the child's not going to do anything. No, the child doesn't get involved, but it is, however, two against three. Uh, but all of them have got less health than me, which is good. Okay, probably the best thing I can do, given these gravestones are hexes that you can't stand on, is form a bit of a form a bit of a kind of a barricade here, so all th so I can't get to myself surrounded. So get here, then just form a nice defensive posture, yep, now we just need to start and then just skip the attack phase, okay good, we made a good choice to go defensive there, he's, oh blimey, he can do a lot of damage though, that's a concern, right, I can't faithful pull so I can just move behind my hero to support, uh, we can do 2 HP, 2 stacks of what I'm assuming is defense, uh, given uh, Aegis is obviously the old the old Greek idea of a shield, uh, so I can dispel, so I can get rid of his bleeding, or I can heal him up. Uh, two debuffs. No, he's only got one debuff on him, so I don't need to worry about that yet. So let's just do a quick numbing light on him. Okay, so this just gives him a bit more defensive stacks, and we'll drop a hammer on this person to start off doing a bit of damage. Okay, only does one damage. Flip. Right, okay, what are, what's these guys doing? Not much yet. So, I can do a heroic leap uh, for. Oh, you're not allowed. You're not allowed to heroic leap into the same position you're already in. Unfortunately, uh, right? Heroic leap. Yep. For one for flipping one damage. Uh, let's do just a, a rampage just to try and get a bit more strength going here and start applying some bleed damage to this guy. Okay. Now he's looking better to me. Now he's looking better. Okay. Faithful Paul. Can I? No, he's too far away. I can't do anything to him. Just need to get closer. Dispel. Let's get rid of the negative stuff on him. Get rid of his debuffs. Yep, perfect. And then I don't want to holy know because I'm not really in a good position. But I could... What the... 
Hang on, how does this work? Okay, wave of light sends a wave of punishing light in front of you, deals three damage, but applies regeneration to allies below 25 HP. When I'm feeling like then, this is this is a good thing, right? Well, I just did some damage to that guy, that's fine. Uh, I'm guessing that was an evade. Oh, that was a big attack through. What are you doing? Oh, you're a wizard who's doing a lot of damage. Oh dear, this isn't going well. Uh, right, that's on cooldown. I can only move. I don't need to... Actually, if I clear out this space, I can do holding over in that space. Move here. And I... Why can't I do uh, my ability this round? Confusion. Oh, I'm in... Oh, I'm confused. Because I'm confused, I can't do that. I can't do the utility. I can't do the miscellaneous. I can only do my attack. Oh, I should have done it to him. Never mind. Okay, we'll just attack. We'll get some starting damage in on you. How did... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're attacking me again. Flip, 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 flip. This isn't good at all. Uh, right, you're in that square. You're in that square. You, I need to... I can't faithful pull. I'm not confused, am I? Vulnerable, increased damage intensity. No. If I go here, then I will be next to both of them. That will be useful, so I can fear both of them. But no, I need to. I need to prioritise healing. I need to get this guy back up to healed a little bit. Then I can holy nova. Okay, that did a bit of damage at least. And oh, we're in. This is quite difficult. What is that? What? What did you just do? Blind. Oh, flipping heck! I could have done without being blind. Thank you. Um, I'm still. Am I still confused? No, I get my abilities back. Okay. Defiant or Rampage? I'm just going to have to go with Rampage and hope. Uh, rampage and then do the cleave for... Sadly, they're not close enough together for me to do a double cleave, but... Fair bit of damage. But this could hurt. Yep, that could in fact be completely fatal. Um, I don't have anyone left to faithfully pull. Oh, flip, flip, flip. Back off, back off. Just run. Dispel myself. Okay, I've got rid of the blindness. I love the blind effect, by the way. And then I can drop the hammer on that guy. I'd like to think at the very least I can hopefully just, you know, manage to do a little bit of damage to her. Oh, they've got a... If, if it had been three on three, it would have been a little bit fairer, but... It still might have been quite difficult. The enemies in this are not not playing around, are they? Right, faithful pull. Can I pull myself? No, I can't. So I can't get some free healing out of that. I could heal myself, but I'm not going to do much good. I'm just going to have to heal myself. Okay. And I've got another hammer that I can use. A wave of light, not that useful. Hammer time to this guy. Boom. I took damage back, though. That's unfortunate. Well, at the very least, we managed to get one of them. But I feel like we can't, a single, an unsupported mage on her own cannot do that much. Uh, dispel, scream. I've got nothing I can do really apart from scream. So I may as well scream to try and apply fear. So the victim moves five hexes to opposite direction of the caster, stacking by round. Oh, so it just scares him off a bit. Then I can do Holy Nova. Right, that'll keep me going at least temporarily. Two damage. Oh, this is going to cause problems. Oh, what did he just do? Blind and poison. Oh, the poison's going to finish me off even if he can't. I get the feeling he is going to very soon indeed. I'm blind. I can't really do... I can't move. I've got to dispel the blindness, I think, but... Yes, get rid of the blindness. Drop the hammer. At least your Holy Nova comes back, but I'm going to die this turn unless I have to get very lucky in everything. Nope. Blimey. Right. That's quite harsh. Okay, let's try this again. But this time I've done a quick replay and I've kept the Rift Stalker alive, which I think will be incredibly useful. So, that's very good. I understand having just played this game quickly a bit better now. So, you, you just have to basically just keep an idea on the buffs and debuffs. This game's all about stacking buffs and debuffs on your enemies. That almost matters more than damage dealing. Just keeping, keeping on top of all of that. So, 
Move my hero back here. We're still going to hide in a good defensive position. We're going to add some nice defensive buffs on ourselves. And we're not going to bother attacking because there's no point yet. Let's move her forward. Add some more defensive buffs to her too. And then just start throwing phantom strikes out there. Which can do some damage to their healer and magic user. Which is worth doing. Okay, he tried to do a big area of effect attack. It did not work very well. Move my healer to the back. Safe place for her. Numbing light, there's no debuffs to get rid of. Get the healing back up. Lovely. Now, drop the hammer on this guy. We target this guy for... Actually, let's have a look. So we've got this guy here who's got 20. And we've got the undead desolator or the undead ravager. This guy's more dangerous. Let's just dogpile on him as he's right here. And we'll see what we can do about that. Heroic leap on top of him. Sure, why not? Boom, extra bit of free damage. Uh, don't really need to fear or daze him. We'll just rampage up. Rampage up and hit him with a chop and hope for bleed damage. No bleed damage. That is unlucky. You've got bleed damage though. Maybe we'll go and hit you at some point. No, no, no. Don't, stay focused. She's now, uh, she's now become blind. That's unfortunate. Uh, we're going to move her back to defend the, uh, healer. I'm going to, oh, I can't refraction to remove a debuff. I can hopefully siphon speed... Yep, that worked. I got a speed off that. Sideblades is unlikely to go off now, but we'll see if we can get lucky. Nope, that was a miss. Understandable. She's got extra health. Oh, 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 this is slightly worrying. Right, you. Heal up her with your extra thing because you're standing next to her, which is good. Uh, you can't scream. You can't... Oh, you can dispel. Yeah, get rid of her blindness. Perfect. And then, drop the hammer on... You can do Wave of Light, can't you? Uh, oh, does Wave of Light have packed literally everyone in that direction? Uh, wave of Light, 4 damage. Free damage applies regeneration to foes below 25% hit. Holy Nova. Let's just drop the hammer on him. Keep dogpiling on that one. That's all we need to do. Dogpile on him. Get some stability up and some defenses up. Got rid of all my debuffs. Lovely. Now... Just got to flipping, get a ble Oh yes, you're in ready for an execution, aren't you? You could be executed next turn, that's good. Four damage, but he's okay. She, meanwhile, can start stepping in and blocking. Uh, I could do a refraction, but I don't think I necessarily need to. I might be better off just putting a debuff on you. Does that work? Yes, you've got a couple of debuffs. Blind. Oh, blind is a brilliant debuff. Blind and confusion. Okay, so he doesn't get his utility and he's unlikely to hit me. That's good. Now. Oh, damn it. Why did you miss with that? No, he should... Oh, he should have missed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, we need to... We need to start healing... We need to start healing them up right now. Uh, right. Faithful pull. Can't do anything about that. Skip that turn. Drop some healing on this hero. And Wave of Light. He's under 25% health, so this should do some benefit to him. Yes, okay. So he has now got... Re he's picked up some regeneration from this, hasn't he? Yes, he has. I don't feel like I need to move, but I'm a bit worried by my situation. Um, I've got Bleeding. I've got Chilled. Half the critical rate stacking by round. But I've got Regeneration, and I've got Increased Evasion. That's good, but my best bet might just be to go... Straight up on the assault and see if I can just nail... How much health does this guy left? He's got seven health. Let's ravage it up. Let's go for might, fury, all that good stuff. So increased damage of weapon skills by 50%. I've got extra precision. I've got a regeneration going. If I execute, because he's got... Yeah. Deals four damage. Plus four damage if the target's HP is below 50%. And he's, yeah, this should hopefully kill him. 12 damage, we've got one of them off the field. That is, oh, and we've lost one of our own in return. Oh dear, right, it's two on two. Uh, and no debuffs, we're pretty much exactly back where we started. Okay, now, you, um, what do we have to do with you? There's no point with the hex bit. Oh, actually, if we stalked, okay. Teleport to target location. Pull foes on diagonal hexes towards you. 
So if I went there, would that pull them both into one location? Because I feel like I've got area of effect spells and they don't really. Yes, okay. I feel like that actually works. Siphon some speed off of this guy. Okay, and now do a big shadow assault for damage to both of them, right? Okay, damage to both of them. What was just done to me? Confusion. Ooh, I just lost my confusion. That could be a problem, but I can give her that back. Right, you. Go and stand right next to her so that we can use the pull heal thing to provide an extra two healing per turn while I'm standing next to her. Dispel. I need to get rid of that right now. Uh, yes, we need to get rid of that. She doesn't. I don't need to heal her anyway because there's no, there's no benefit to it. And then, oh, I'm not standing between the two of them, so I'm going to go for hammer, not for holy nova. One damage? What the hell is this? Uh, he's casting Turtle Snake or something, I'm not sure. Uh, you've got Tormented. Deals one damage for each hex. <sighs> okay, don't move. Just stop moving in general at this point. Uh, I can... Oh, that's. I think that's faded. Okay, uh, I can either give myself Absorb and Defense and removes a debuff, or I can give Confusion and Blind. Let's give the guy who's actually going to be hitting us Blind. That seems like a sensible thing to do. Side blades, or I'm not sure why I'd ever use side blades because this seems. I guess you have to because of cooldown. Uh, let's just focus on taking out their mage. Taking out their mage seems like a really sensible thing to do. Oh, flip! He just hit me even though he was blind. Well, that seems quite frankly unfair. Right, faithful pull. Give her a heal, lovely. And then, can you give her a bit more? Yes, you can. Give her a bit more health. She's in good shape. Wave of light. Three, and he's almost... In fact, oh, the bleeding dealt with him. Oh, yes. Two against one. Two against one. Boom. Uh, refraction to get rid of the debuff. Okay, lovely. Cyblade. Stab him a bit. That did so little damage. I'm feeling now it's two against one. I'm feeling good about this. Oh, what did he just do to me? Crippled. Uh, reduces speed. Dazed halves the proc rates. Okay, and weakness halves damage output. That's flipping crippling, isn't it? Uh, right, go over to her. We need to get those off her right now. Get like get rid of most of them. What have we still got? Halves the damage output. That's still disastrous. Um, we've both got weakness on ourselves. <sighs> Ooh, uh, what can I do? Age of foes restores two HP. Uh, we may as well just drop the hammer. Still does two damage. That's not too bad. Right, stalk. Yes, let, we may as well just get back to her. Just do it, do it fancy like. Uh, Rift Prison just keeps shoving those debuffs on him. And then I'm not sure that actually worked. He's confused, but Shadow Assault. Go for it. Miss. Gosh darn it. Right, now, you. Can't dispel, can use Numbing Light. But I'll get the spell back pretty soon. And then this wave. Three extra damage. Lovely. I feel like we've got this. I feel like we've got this now. Skip the movement phase. Go straight into refraction to get rid of that debuff. And then go straight into side blades. Come on. Hit him. Yes. He has got chilled and confusion. I'm feeling very good about this now. Faithful pull to keep her up. It's kind of odd that you need to keep healers, like, right up at the front, because otherwise they can't use the Faithful Pull. Uh, but uh, I guess it kind of makes sense. Now, do the Scream. Give him some fear. Lovely. Put the fear of something into him. Uh, may as well Holy Nova. Beautiful. That is just gorgeous. Skip the movement phase. Uh, siphon some speed off him. He is now slow, and we are fast. And now time for a great big Phantom Strike. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Admittedly, we've lost. We, you know, somebody died, but we've saved the world. Last of the... Well, I think we've saved the world. We might just have, you know, saved one person or something. Last of the zombies is released from its earthly bounds. The child gazes at you with a fear it never knew it could feel. And, ooh, I can exercise a demonic present from this unfortunate child. Excellent. Let's just do that. No, 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 Ah, well, what's going on? The child twitches and writhes, but the evil within him is no match for your spiritual power. He is exorcised. Return the redeemed loin spawn. 
I'm fine. I, I, I get you might have a child-free philosophy in life, but loin spawn is still a bit of a harsh term for a small child. Right, let's bring the child home, shall we? Lardy, flipping da, we have won. We have won the... Well, we've won one thing at least. I was about to say, I hope we didn't bring it back to the farmers, because if we did, the farmers would probably say, actually, we sent you to rescue some pigs. Did you ever do that, by the way? How was the adventure? Nothing special. We contended with forces not meant to be known by man. Hideous forces warped our sanity beyond human limits. La, la. Yes, I'd say that. Good, good, that's lovely. And I see the little scamp has the jewel. Excellent. Shall I describe your next task? Screw you. Retrieve the mirror of many things. It used to reside on an island not far from here, but we lost contact with it some time ago. I feel like you're making this up as you go along the mirror of many things. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is what we have at the moment. This is just the little demo of the Kickstarter project. Obviously, it's very, very early, and I think it's... It will obviously be much easier and, well, much more interesting once you have the ability to go to any island you wish. Because once you can go to any island you wish, you'll be able to presumably pick up more team members and so forth. Right now, it's kind of... Uh, I feel like there's probably nothing much going on. Is there anything happening on any of the islands? Or is everyone just saying, yeah, we're out of stock? But normally, you know, you'd be able to gather money and, you know, gather more team members and so forth. Right now, I'm in a bit of a difficult situation because so many people have just... I've, I've lost my main hero, so I've only got, you know, two people and there's regularly three enemies, so it's a bit of a slog. So, yes, it's an interesting little system. Like, it's probably not quite my thing. Are you going for me? No, you're not. It's probably not quite my thing. Are you, is it, are you now coming for me? You're just wandering around. Uh, it's probably not quite my thing because I'm not like so much into RPGs that are all about like the buffs and the debuffs and all of that stuff. That's not really my bag. I'm much more kind of into slightly more accessible ones when you're having to be just constantly managing healing and so forth. That's not really so much my thing. I was never huge into like Final Fantasy, for example. So I'm not sure this is like maybe something I might not look at myself again. But like, you know, it's interesting enough. It's got some really lovely music. I think it's got a really cute, adorable art style. Which is quite nice. Uh, and are you two chasing each other? Chasing dwarf ship. Yep, there we are. Maybe I can I have to help or something? No, can I? Can I? Hello? You're being chased. No, you're not, you're not particularly fast. I'm, I'm going to pledge my services to you. We're doing just fine. They say they're doing just fine. Okay, fine. Ah, I guess they would be as the Vikings have now decided to chase me. Three Vikings are chasing me. Hello, guys. Why are you chasing me? I learned your language, just tell you this, we are coming for you. Alright. Is that what you wanted to tell me? Is that really it? Are you, did you also want to tell me that? No? Did you get bored? No, you decided to get bored and wander off, yes. So, okay, not quite my typical cup of tea, but interesting enough, fun enough. I like the combat system. Maybe I think it could do with a little bit more actual damage dealing and kind of damage dealing abilities and a little bit less buffing and debuffing but I think possibly I've missed the entire point if that's what I'm declaring but uh, there you are ladies and gentlemen this has just been the little bit of uh, a look at Overfall if you think this looks particularly desperately exciting are you fixing an island? Oh, good for you are they, actually, are they actually fixing up an island and putting out fire or something? Or are they actually building something? I'm going to check on this I'm going to keep... No, 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 whatever it is, they didn't successfully do it. There's a lot of Vikings in this area. I mean, I'd love to think in the final version, ships will go around, they'll colonise, and you'll be able to communicate with them, and, you know, ships will kind of be, you know, like, uh, loading and unloading, and it will all make a big difference. And they, clearly, they, they want that to be the case, because it's already here, but uh, no, it's not quite built in yet. But there we are, ladies and gentlemen. An interesting little thing, if you're interested in Overfall and want to see it completed, I'll link to the Kickstarter uh, in the description down below and I don't know maybe I will take another look at it if it's successfully funded and therefore it kind of gets finished off and it's in a much more complete state later to see if maybe when I've got the ability to kind of shop and build my team a bit more effectively it appeals to me a little bit more. but in the meantime ladies and gentlemen I've been John it's been many a true nerd and this has been the utterly quite adorable overfall thank you very much and goodbye oh sh what 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 a bad thing is happening? Why is a bad thing happening? Oi, oi, oi! Is that you? Were you just saying I'm distracted? Because I'm not distracted, and I will kick you. I'm gonna leave that to Jack. Jack seems to have calmed himself down, or at least is now in a psychotic blood frenzy. So that's fine.